Okay, welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, I feel sorry for you. You've missed a lot. I'm with Chef Anthony Melhem from the uh, Howl's Meat Market. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> we've learned from the first take. Okay, what we've done so far is a Caesar salad. We we did a new take on it. We made the cheese basket. Yes. By uh, all that. And the Moroccan ribeye. Yes, with the Asiago polenta and roasted asparagus. Yep. And now we're going to go to the salmon. Yeah, this is something we put out um, a few months ago, and it's been selling so well that it's uh, now one of the permanent uh, staples in our seafood uh, department. And this is a mustard dill salmon. Uh, basically, how you make this is really easy. You get a nice Dijon mustard, add a little horseradish for a little bit of a kick. kick. But I don't say horseradish to people because they freak out. <laughs> so I just say mustard well, dill. It's steak. Yeah, and they, 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 they have it. It's like, that's the best you know, salmon I've ever had. And I was like, oh, good, good, good. Oh, I'm sorry, I interrupt. The water's come to a boil for the. Uh, okay, yeah, this is also this is a saffron yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, couscous that's also going to go with the uh, mustard dill salmon. And basically, it's a one to one ratio. So you do one cup of water with saffron to one cup of couscous, top it, turn it off, and that's couscous. That's how easy it is. It's not hard at all. People kind of freak out about rice and couscous. It's couscous and I helped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. <laughs> it just had to go. All right, so basically this is a really easy, uh, this is what I call light and tasty. Um, basically something for a nice Friday night, Saturday night, week's done, and uh, you want to have something that's going to be not weighing you down. So you take wow, the horseradish in that really does. Yeah, it does. It, it kicks, kicks it. That's right? nice. Yeah, it is good. So Dijon, horseradish, and uh, I use dry dill because it's got a lot of flavor. You can use fresh dill. That's your call. That's up to you. So you and take what's the mix there? If you're using fresh to dried, it's you, you use less dried that's than correct. fresh. Yep, that's absolutely correct. Yeah, you ah. can cover that. You're pretty good there. Okay? <laughs> Thanks, man. I paid attention in the last class. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cover it up real nice like that. Okay, take that and then bake it in the oven. Throw that in, and you cook it for about 25 to 30 minutes, and uh, sort of set it and forget it. All and right. See how look at the couscous now? We're gonna do broccoli, right? Yeah. Once you chop up some broccoli, I'll give this a quick little toss. See? Can you see that, Mr. Cameraman? Look at that. <laughs> it's like the sham wow. Hey, hey, you see that, man? You see that? Yeah. The sham wow. So anyway, there's your couscous, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna blanch the broccoli. And we're going to do a nice uh, light uh, lemon with salt and pepper. And that's it. Really simple. All right? Oops. How are you looking over there? I'm doing well. Okay. And then you get the water violin like that. Then you take the broccoli, throw it in. Like that. That's it. Very good. Don't burn yourself. Mm -hmm. That would be my job. And get a nice little uh, ladle. Do I like that. Those? And spiders, actually. Stirring device. Yeah, so they actually they call them spiders. Um, spider web. Because they look like a web. I'm yeah. with you. And then you blanch that for one minute. And you just want to get the green up on the broccoli. Don't overcut broccoli. People like oh, to yeah. don't, no. don't do that. Don't do that. You, what you want to do is you want to give it about a minute, get it cooking, because it's still going to continue to cook once you pull it out. So you get that going. All right. Where's our bowl? Here's a bowl. I gotta get done with my scrap out of it, right. sorry. Yeah. I thought I was done with the bowl. All right, so you take that. See, now look at that color. Look at that color. That's what you're aiming for. That's what you're aiming for, right there. Okay? And then, while it's nice and hot, add some lemon, some pepper. See, and I caught all the seeds. I learned that trick too, huh? How about that? Some salt. All right, and then a little olive oil. Oil on that, and like, like and garlic right. <laughs> on my cereal, man, on my cereal. Get that going, and then you give that a toss. Go like that. All right, restaurant style, right? All right. And there you go. Sweet. Now, all right, you ready? We're ready. Get that salmon out. Need a plato. Take a look at that salmon. All right, we got a nice plate here. Uh, I like cooking with the skin on for uh, two reasons. You still get the flavor of the skin in the salmon, and then when you take it off, usually it sticks to sticks the plate. Yeah. I know, that's so it, awesome. It does come out skinless. Uh, uh, you need your, what I did, uh, I did something with it. 
See how it came out? You got a nice crust right there with the top. And just like we said, come on, come on, come on. Voila. And up, see, skin on. All right. Now, how's your couscous over there, Mr. Man? Oh, hang on. All right, get that going over here. I lost my mic. All right, couscous. Nice saffron couscous. Remember, when we keep play, it tight. keep it tight. Keep it tight, man. You get a nice color there. All right. But we're blocking the uh, all cameras. No. There is no angle that they can use right now. Because we're trained professionals. That's right. Ha! Huh. How do you like that? All right, so one more time before I start. Can I eat now? Yeah, man. What do you want? I? I don't know. I'm going to start with the steak. Um, let's go back and revisit where we're from. Uh, I'm the executive chef at uh, Halvis Market, and uh, we are uh, doing catering. We are doing gourmet foods to go. And come on in, take a look at what we have. Uh, we do all sorts of uh, events, weddings. Eat the beans! Wait a minute. 